Here we are at step six, clear the house. Once the windows, doors, and cracks are sealed, then you can take authority and command the enemy to clear out. Luke 10, 19 reads, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Mark 16, 15 reads, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, and he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So here's a sample prayer in clearing the house. I declare independence from every stronghold of the enemy, and I renounce my affiliation with every unclean spirit. I declare you, Lord Jesus, to be my Savior, Healer, and Deliverer. You gave me the power of your name, and I receive that power right now to command the powers of darkness to go. I ask you, Lord, to forbid the enemy to retaliate in any way. I pray safety over me, my loved ones, and family. I thank you, Lord, for closing every door that provided an opening to the tormentor. In the name of Jesus, I command every work of the enemy in my life null and void. I command every unclean spirit to go and not return in Jesus' name. If you would like to call out every spirit listed in the Bible, I have a list for you to download as a PDF. You may call these out by saying and praying the following. As I call these spirits, I command them to go quietly and immediately. Every unclean spirit, you are forbidden to come back, and I command you to go to the feet of Jesus for his instruction as soon as I call you out. In the name of Jesus, I renounce the following spirits and command them to go. Spirit of fear and rejection, spirit of bondage, spirit of antichrist, deaf and dumb spirit, spirit of death, Spirit of divination, spirit of error, every familiar spirit, spirit of pride, of heaviness, spirit of infirmity, spirit of jealousy, every lying spirit, every perverse spirit, every seducing spirit, spirit of whoredoms, and any other spirit that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. You are not welcome, and I command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. Now you want to take some time after you pray this and wait for these things to leave. You may feel something, you may not feel something, you may just feel peace, but you're going to be setting up a standard right now that you're not tolerating these things and you're commanding them to go. Now there's more information on MiracleDeliverance.com if you need to go a little bit deeper. I also recommend uh, Bill Suddeth's uh, Deliverance Manual because there's more in-depth information in there. In this course, I'm just doing some simple steps to deliverance. You want to listen to the Lord, and if He tells you to call out something specific, then you're going to do that. If you know something, like if you know that you have an addiction to sugar, so you may say addiction to sugar, I want no part of you. And I command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. If you know you're addicted to drugs or if you have depression and, and anxiety, right here's the place that you want to renounce those things and command them to go. Renew your mind. This is the most important part. This is putting into action what you have just prayed. Number one, you have to read the word because the word is truth. And it will renew your mind in itself. You have to confess with your mouth the truth. That's why I like reading the word out loud. Or if the Lord gives me a truth, I like saying it out loud. Surround yourself with faithful believers. That's important. With uh, people who will cheer you on as God does a fantastic work in you. Number four, seek the Lord in prayer. You will renew your mind as you seek him, as he loves on you, corrects you, instructs you, and trains you even. If things start to come back, stand up and refuse it. Let's say that after you've prayed these prayers, you notice you're not having panic attacks, or you notice that you 
a pain that was once there is gone or you don't feel bad towards someone, if those things start to come back, you have to stand up to it. Refuse it. If other things you have an address show up, just repeat the process all over again. Allow the Lord to do a deep work and share your testimony. You do not have to tell the awful tales and uh, show everything that you did, but you can declare how Jesus healed you, saved you, and redeemed you. And that testimony will remind you of everything that he's done. It's not unusual for the enemy to say you can't do this and fill your head full of lies. Once those strongholds are down, he wants to build those back up. So you need to live a life of freedom and victory. If you need further help, there are other courses on MiracleOfDeliverance.com. But if you need some assistance, don't hesitate to ask a trusted Christian counselor or a ministry grounded in the word. If you need a referral, you can send your contact information from our website and we can check to see if there's anyone reputable in your area. Encourage yourself by watching testimonies, reading the word and confessing Jesus is Lord. You are not an exception. Luke 4.18 applies to you.